Okay, so continuing with chapter two, I thought it might be nice before I complete this row to show you how to do a standing stitch. So if you've never done a standing stitch, this is in place of your chain up. So first of all, what you do is you make what looks like a double crochet. Okay, there's your double crochet. Now, do you see these two loops here? This is the top head of your stitch and this one is the loop from your previous stitch. So what you do now is you go into that bottom loop. So the loop that sits up, the loop that sits there. So if you notice as well, let me just go back a step. I didn't create a chain. Now normally when we go up a row, um, the chain or the chain up that we create creates the um, the architecture for the height of the row that we're going to make. So if it's a double crochet, UK terms by the way, um, then it would be one chain. If it's a half treble UK terms, it would be two. And if it's a treble, it will be three. Although I like to keep it to two, unless it's a much larger stitch. So you don't create the chain because your standing stitch is going to do, um, it's going to reinforce what you do as a chain up but it's going to be much more substantial, a little bit more grounded as a stitch. So um, it's going to have a bit more substance to it. Let's put it that way. So let's go in to the loop, which is this stitch here. So this is the next stitch head. Go into that one, pull your yarn through, yarn over, and take it through as if you've created a double crochet. Now, if it was a double crochet, you would. You can see how you're getting this pull here. This pull is um, pulling the stitch down and this is why it's always important to do a chain up because if you did do a stitch this way you kind of lose where you are and it's much easier to then forget when you come to the end of your row where your row started so to create your standing stitch go through that loop and then pull your yarn through so you've got two loops in your stitch yarn over and pull through again that is basically a standing stitch and you can use it in lots of ways. You will see people that have, um, haven't put a stitch, um, lot of sorry. If you created a chain stitch, then you've worked into chain stitch and you don't have enough of stitches because it's for some reason you've, you've lost a stitch somewhere. You can use a standing stitch to work back into to create that extra stitch stitch. Well, I shall probably do another video on that one. So don't worry about it if it doesn't make too much sense. So that's it then. You can just work straight back in into those stitches and you can create your, continue your row as is. So, there you go. And can you see how that, I am working a little bit faster, but I just want to show you how it works. So if you are jumping on this and you're wondering what a half treble is, it's basically yarn over, go through your space or stitch head, you have three loops, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And you can see how now you have this one, you have this lovely edge to work back into. There's no way you're going to forget that's where your row starts. Um, it's a lot more substantial. There isn't a gap, so it's a little bit thicker, and it just leaves a much more invisible finish for you to work into and for you to find that place. So when you come to work back in it, it's much easier for you to go, I can work straight into there and see how easy it was for me to get my hook straight into that space. So it's a great way to do your standing stitch. It really is lovely. So that's your standing stitch. I'm going to pause again and then I'm going to come back to finishing this row. Um, I, this row is the, the um, row 15. It is the first part of chapter 2. We will be working four rows in our half trebles. And then we will be working a moss stitch in the ladybird. So please bear in mind that I am using an alternative colourway to the original colourway. Because I can never make anything in the same colour. Um, and I will put the alternatives in our free blog pattern, which is on our website, which is www.oflockandfiddlesticks.co.uk for anybody that's jumping on our YouTube video and who doesn't isn't aware that we have a free blog pattern for you to enjoy. So I shall see you shortly.